it has four legs, eyes, and a body built to carry with the ability to go wherever men can. The legged squad support system is the new solution for overburdened troops who carry nearly 100 pounds of survival and protection gear in the field. Dismounted squads like to move under cover and concealment. They do not want to move on roads. That tells you right away that if you're going to have a robotic platform, it must be able to go over logs, through streams. The Commandant of the Marine Corps, General James Amos, and Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Director Arati Prabhakar saw a demonstration of the system at Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia, and learned about the 24 month initiative designed to refine and enhance the program. Now that you've got a capable platform, it's now taking the sensors, making them much more uh, effective. They're already effective, but taking it to a new level so that not only it can perceive the world around it better, but it can interact with the Marines better. So that's what you're going to see over the next 24 months is how do you uh, make it more effective in the hands of those Marines uh, out in the field. Once complete, this beast of burden can take the load off troops, allowing them to focus on their mission. So everything we do, we endeavor to lighten the load, but where LS3 is particularly effective in that regard is the fact that it takes equipment directly off that Marine's back, whether it be you know, mortar base plates, uh, whether it be ammunition, uh, spare ammunition, whether it be packs, uh, a lot of different areas. Corporal Christopher Baines, reporting from Joint Base Meyer Henderson Hall, Virginia. out to about five meters, gives you a much more detailed view of the world, uh, you know, for the train that's nearby. Uh, all of those cameras work day or night, they're all uh, illuminated. Or... Same controller could be used to control a UAV, uh, someone help me on what all the other things are. Absolutely. UGV, sir, we use this with a Gus as well. We have to put enough smarts into this robot so that it can create a path through complex terrain while tracking the squad leader and other members of the squad that may be weaving in and out as they're conducting their tactical, tactical operations. That's day and night. Brigadier General Mark Wise, I'm the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory, also the Vice Chief of Naval Research. Well, it's a, uh, it's a partnership with DARPA. Uh, LS3 represents one of uh, several light in the load type of activities that we do. 
Uh, it's important to note that the Marine Corps looks at uh, lighten the load is a is a result. It's something we snap back to. So the Marine Corps looks at what is it we want to be able to do, in this case distributed operations. Uh, how do we have to organize? How do we have to change the way we do things? And then ultimately what technologies enable that capability? So that's where the LS3 fits in. Uh, so everything we do, we endeavor to lighten the load, but where LS3 is particularly effective in that regard is the fact that it takes equipment directly off that Marine's back, whether it be you know, mortar base plates, uh, whether it be ammunition, uh, spare ammunition, whether it be packs, uh, a lot of different areas. And so we attack it from a bunch of different angles, but LS3 is a significant enabling capability that is really making great progress. Uh, well, ultimately, absolutely, because obviously we train like we fight. If we're able to fight differently because we're able to lighten the load, and you know, it's, it's not necessarily that it's just fighting differently, it's fighting more effectively. Because if you look at the fatigue factor, you know, imagine being in Afghanistan in the heat of the summer. So you've got significant vertical terrain, you've got a lot of heat, weight that the Marine is carrying from a protective standpoint, uh, and the ammunition he has to have on his body. You can imagine the fatigue starts to pick up rapidly. Now you put on, you know, a hundred pound pack, and you put on other pieces of equipment, and you really start to fatigue him quickly. How does that affect his aim? How does that affect his ability to relate with the uh, uh, the local population and, and to, uh, to gain support. It's a little bit about attitude and it's about uh, a capability. So when you can lighten the load and allow him to become more effective with regards to how he performs, uh, then some, in some ways you could say that that's not necessarily changing the way he trains, it's making him more effective uh, as a trained Marine. Uh, so it does both, I guess. Is